You're listening to the PlantX Podcast, the digital face of the plant-based community. Join us as we explore the inner workings of all things plant-based, from the products and lifestyles to the people behind them. Each week, we'll be touching on what's new in the ever-expanding world of PlantX and chat with everyone from entrepreneurs and chefs to nutritionists and scientists. Whether you follow a strict plant-based diet or just want to learn more, you're invited. I welcome our host, the man who combined his love of e-commerce and the plant-based lifestyle to create PlantX, Sean Dollinger. Welcome to our ninth edition of our podcast. And today we have Jonathan Diner joining us, who has a really incredible coffee brand and can't wait to introduce you to, um, to him in a little bit. Uh, to start off with, thank you very much, obviously, for joining. Our company wouldn't be where it is today without all of your guys' support. And uh, please keep spreading the word about Plantex. We even saw it here on uh, Black Friday uh, yesterday, our first, and it was uh, fantastic. It went really, really great. And uh, through the weekend, we're still offering great promotion. So, you know, again, for all the customers who watch our vodcast, please go ahead and share, uh, you know, share that info with all your friends, family, colleagues, so that the word gets out there. And uh, for the shareholders and investors, we keep seeing our shareholder list grow, which is phenomenal. And, uh, you know, this uh, show is meant to give you guys the background behind press releases, behind what we're doing and what we're all about. So uh, this week, for example, uh, we announced the close of uh, the Locavore. And uh, we were out there uh, last week. We were really hoping to make that announcement during the show, but at least you got the chance to see uh, Corey and his team, Grace, who's doing a phenomenal job. And uh, we're really proud for a company that we had just started here in April. We've now shown the world that we announce deals and we close deals. You know, we went ahead uh, about a month ago and the plant subscription base uh, out of Europe and the UK plant subscription company, Bloombox, and we're looking to now expand that into Germany and a whole bunch of different countries over there. And Katie and her team have been incredible to work with. We really couldn't have asked for, for better partners. And then now with uh, the Locavore, it's going to really allow us to educate, introduce new products to our consumer base. And now we're a tangible asset. You know, people could go out there, see that Plantex is something that they could actually touch and feel. Uh, in my 20 years of e-commerce experience, uh, that's always been the hardest challenge to teach and educate people what we truly do. You know, in our minds, it makes perfect sense. We're a platform that sells all different products um, that are plant-based and uh, vegan, for example, products. But a lot of people don't really understand what that means at the end of the day. And that's why we refer to ourselves sometimes as Amazon um, due to getting the concept of being a catalog. And um, one of the visionaries out there that, uh, you know, the whole Plantex team gives our condolences out to the family is Tony Shea, who was CEO of Zappos. And Zappos is a, a great example of a company that's specialized in uh, footwear. And again, even though Amazon was massive at the time, they were still willing to pay a billion dollars for a company that specialized in something. And it is really hard to educate the markets and everyone out there on the true value of creating a community. And Zappos did it, and Chewy has done it, and diapers.com has done it. And a new company that I found over Black Friday is a company called Farfetch. And they do exactly, and maybe if we explain it this way, you know, they sell clothing from brand name companies around the world. But you just need to go to Farfetch, and I didn't know this, and you go ahead and you purchase products off of that website. They have it API'd, which means their technology connects to all these different companies' inventory systems. And then the packages arrive on your doorstep from many different companies. It's quite incredible the way they've set it up. And that's exactly what Plantex is all about. It's about connecting with all the new brands, like the Very Good Butcher, Modern Meat, um, you know, Beyond, Impossible. Eventually, all of these items will be on our platform. So we're not just a specific brand 
We are so much more than that. We are a community that allows somebody to try a product, for example, like the Very Good Butcher, enjoy it, and then explore so much more. So we create this connectivity with our customers that keep them coming back. And we normally only announce, um, you know, people who really participate. Um, you know, we give out normally a, a plan this week. We'd love to send out some succulents to the individual, but you know, his name's Earl Diamond. And Earl, for every week since we've started, goes on our website, orders meals, and he gets involved this week. He, he ordered a plant and all these different things that get him to be part of the community. So today I just wanted to spend a couple extra minutes on really um, you know, giving that background. And then again, uh, you know, what they did over at Zappos, I believe really revolutionized the way e-commerce was treated with the customer service, which we're all about. And, you know, I, I definitely uh, respect what they, uh, the culture that Tony had created over there. So, um, you know, with that, uh, I'd love to, um, you know, introduce you to Jonathan, who's uh, kind of doing it on the coffee side of things, where he's uh, really specializing and hopefully teaming up with us as uh, the platform of cho choice. So, Jonathan, welcome to the show. Hello. Thanks for having me. No, it's great to have you. And Jonathan, you know, we've had a chance to get to meet each other over the last couple months. It's been an absolute pleasure. And, uh, you know, I think you know this, but the way that uh, we start our show is by asking, how do you take your coffee? So believe it or not, I drink a lot of coffee. Uh, so the two main ways I do it, uh, if I'm at home, I always do a French press of just black coffee. Um, the benefit of being a partner in a coffee company is getting to change it up whenever I want and having an unlimited supply of it. Um, and then my other thing I normally do is uh, just espresso over ice. Uh, so it's a more uh, intense Americano and it just eventually melts the ice. So you could just sip it for a long time, almost like a, a whiskey in a way. Sounds, uh, sounds fantastic. And I think if uh, I was over at your place, I'd be uh, drinking nonstop coffee each day. That's kind of my problem over at uh, the Locavore and the Cloudburst Cafe. I go see Corey and it's like I'm going to the counter taking cup after cup and it's so great. And I know that uh, we'll be uh, carrying your products over there shortly, right? Oh yeah, I'm very excited for that. That's awesome. Cool. So um, yeah, what makes your coffee different? Because obviously there's hundreds of different brands out there probably growing every day. And it goes back to what we say, we love being the platform so everybody could try out all these different coffees. So you're in this coffee war, you know, that's a, not, not the easiest one to win. So what's your guys angle? What makes you guys different? Sure. So uh, in my past coffee experience, I've worked everywhere from a Starbucks to a high end coffee shop. And I've seen a little bit about what each place will do, uh, what makes them their own unique voice. And what I wanted to do was get a little bit of my own personality and inject that into it. So uh, at a place like Starbucks, they give you a sense of community. You wanna keep coming back. It almost has its own language in a way. Uh, High-end coffee shops, it's very plain. They're like, we wanna show that we have good and nice stuff, the end. So my experience in uh, playing in bands for 15 years, I was a world traveling musician. That was my main job for years. Uh, I wanted to take all of my, my network of friends that were artists, videographers, photographers, and kind of throw this almost like a punk rock coffee uh, brand at people and say, this is gonna stick out on shelves. It looks exciting, but the trick is it's high-end coffee. So it's one of the only companies doing high-end coffee with really exciting packaging and a totally unique voice to it. Uh, so fortunately, again, the coffee is great and we could do it at an affordable price point as well. So we're not charging 20 plus dollars like a lot of the places are with a plain brown bag. We're saying, here's a, there's a, a cult classic show called Twin Peaks. We reference that on one of our bags and it's called the Damn Fine Cup of Coffee. And whether you like the show or not, you're going to love the design and you're going to love the coffee because it's the same thing as if you go to a high-end coffee shop and you sip that perfect cup of coffee and you're like, that's a damn fine cup of coffee. <laughs> I love it. And uh, your brand is definitely different. And uh, I wanted you to, you could see the passion uh, through it. So I wanted to make sure you shared that with the viewers and how you uh, went ahead and created an incredible decaf uh, roast as well. So thank you very much for that. Really love okay. that. 
we call it the Sean roast. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No. And I had a chance to try your coffee and it's, um, it's incredible. You hit it bang on. Like, uh, sometimes I, I don't go to Starbucks that often. And then just yesterday I walk in and it had been a while and right away, the, the, the smell in the air, the way that you feel comfortable in that environment, you're so right. And then how you spoke about what the high end coffee shops do. It's really interesting. And that's one thing that we've really been working hard as a team. How do you make the Cloudburst Cafe where it's so welcoming already that you do not want to make major changes? We love what Corey and his team did. Normally you buy businesses because perhaps they're not doing well, et cetera. There it was the opposite. They're thriving right now. They're set up for COVID. This is a happy spot. So how do you go about introducing things like you've said to make it feel even more welcoming because the coffee's great? but you want to make the experience great as well, right? Exactly. And uh, a lot of people run the risk of making a polarizing experience for high-end coffee, where there's some places where it, all the walls are white and you, you don't know what you're supposed to order and you think you're going to be chastised for it. And then I see like even just over the video from uh, last week, the Cloudburst Cafe looks amazing. Like it's set up and ready to go. Like I want to sit there. Yeah, no, exactly. And then you got to see, it's been probably, we thought it'd be like one week of design to make it like settle, just to introduce a little bit of plan text. It's literally taken, you know, two months to get this design feeling right, but still it's just a concept. And then rolling it out now is really going to be, you know, the true test at the end of the day. And same thing in Hillcrest. Hillcrest is a little bit different in San Diego, right? Where we'll be carrying your product and really getting it out there. Um, Hillcrest, they never had a cafe there to begin with. So there it's more of, hey, let's do it. We're giving it our best efforts. We think it's going to be incredible, right? Uh, but Cloudburst is really special and that's going to be great to be able to launch your product through. Now, e-commerce, have you uh, went ahead and is that how you're selling your products currently or what's your relationship with, uh, with e-com? So uh, because of COVID, as we are transitioning out of two separate jobs, we had a big talk about coffee shops. We're two different people coming from different coffee shop worlds. And we said, right now, it is so safe to do e-commerce because people are buying more than ever. And on top of that, the cherry on top is with wholesale, you can get your one product in a bunch of places instead of having to worry about your one place, you know? Uh, so as far as e-commerce, it's been amazing for us. And we launched initially as an e-commerce only platform. Uh, and then people were so excited by it, more places locally started picking us up. So uh, we've done collaborations with Flint City Hard Cider. We have uh, a literal coffee hard cider. Uh, today we launched uh, our collaboration candle. So we have a coffee scented candle with Flint Coffee Company. So oh, cool. our, our thing has just been like, how, how do we play around in this space, but see what's working because we're such a new company. And it keeps coming back to, our damn fine cup of coffee. People want the good coffee and they that's the skew they want to have. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. it's been great. And we're so thankful that you've uh, decided to team up with us, obviously, and uh, be a partner. And that's what we're all about, new brands. That's what we get excited about. Once a brand's been created, sure, we want to offer their products on our platform. But to be able to showcase an incredible brand like yourselves, get it in front of the consumer where we're creating this unbelievable community that trusts us because they've tried incredible products. That's where it goes so much further. And I guess that leads into the question, the future of coffee, like how do you stay in front of the curb? Where, where are you guys headed? Sure. So uh, right now, coffee is the number one uh, grocery item in e-commerce. Uh, there are so many people competing with each other right now. But what makes it exciting is, and it's similar to wine, you look at a bottle of wine, you won't know what it tastes like, but you go, that looks good, or I've heard good things, right? Uh, so the way we're able to do it is we set ourselves up with a few staple roasts, right? So we have our dark roast, we have a damn fine cup of coffee, and then we have Berry Kiss, which is our nice high-end Ethiopian roast. Uh, but in the future, what we are able to do is adapt. So we have... Um, we spend most of our money on good advertising and really invasive uh, e-commerce advertising. And we make sure that people are consistently buying stuff. So the number one thing is uh, subscription-based models for coffee is hands down number one. Um, if you could get your ad spend return on $300 a year versus a $15 bag of coffee, you already won. Uh, 
So we're trying to just create a system to where you're able to order coffee every week. If you like one thing, it's similar to cereal. You have your cereal, you have your coffee and you keep coming back. So how do you make that as easy as possible? Uh, so what we're trying to do is have our main direction be uh, good bags of coffee that you want to keep getting every single week or every month or whatever subscription model you know you decide on. And then we also want to have that wiggle room. So one side we have a uh, collaboration with uh, American Fifth. We're doing a barrel aged, uh, it's a bourbon aged coffee, which is super exciting. And we're, do and we're doing a limited release. So we're saying we're able to do this, but that's not all we do. And then we keep having those things pop up, but that's just for fun, you know? Uh, so without losing, so for example, a great company, uh, Death Wish Coffee, they were the number one selling e-commerce coffee period. And they had a single product. They said, our stuff is so caffeinated, it'll punch you in the face and we have to put a warning label on it. <laughs> and they exploded because of it. And then Amazon teamed up with them, the number one e-commerce site period. And they just took over the world, right? Uh, so what we're trying to do is you look at models like that where we go, we can't lose our focus if we have this world that we're good at. This stuff is the fun part, but if we lose our way, the soul of the company gets lost in the process, you know? So it's similar to Plan X, right? Like there are so many moving verticals, but at the end of the day, it's this is the one-stop shop for everything plant-based. And yeah. that's that's the heart and soul of the company. It is. And I'm glad that you realized that. And that's exactly what we are. And I 100% agree on the whole subscription model, especially on a product like yours, when someone really enjoys it, they'll want it to be on subscription. Obviously leading into that, that's where you need to sell off the one-offs to make sure the person enjoys the product. But same thing with the plants. Uh, that's massive part of the business. That's so interesting. Once you capture that customer, they keep wanting more and more of the plants that we have to offer. So same thing, once you have your customer introducing new blends, special blends during the holidays, the special edition one that you're speaking about, all those things uh, create an incredible community around coffee. And uh, you know, before uh, the show started today, we did get a couple questions. I did want to allow for an opportunity because we have you on live. A lot of, I don't know any publicly traded companies or any companies that really take the time to do this each week where we try to show our partnerships with different individuals. So people know that there's more than just some text out there floating around that there's actually incredible people such as yourself that uh, you could feel the passion through the screen that you have towards your products. And I believe exponentially that's what makes our platform so powerful, right? Like we've only been around since April. We've already done probably close to a dozen relationships like this, partnerships, et cetera. And it just keeps building because if your products are incredible, and then we capture customers through that, it brings that much more credibility to the other amazing partners we find around the world. So I do have some questions, but in, just in case I'll open it up for, for another minute or so. But I guess, uh, you know, when, while we're waiting uh, for some questions to come in, uh, when, you know, do you feel that we'll be able to carry your products up in Canada? How, uh, how set up are you uh, to do that? Have you sold to Canada yet? Or will we be the first person doing that? Um, we've sold a few uh, individual bags to Canada, uh, but as far as like doing a bulk amount, like we're we're more than ready to go. So, and and the other thing I wanted to touch on as well, um, we have a bellwether roaster, and it's this new state of the art thing that came out in the last few years. Um, it is zero emissions. It's self-contained, wow. and you could literally put it in any room, and it's ready to go as long as the electrical is set up. Uh, so we're, we have a super low carbon footprint and we're also doing small batch everything. So every time you get a new shipment of stuff, it's going to be still smelling perfect. It's going to be, you know, sometimes people will get an order in a day because we're like that quick with our shipping and they'll actually feel a warm bag still. So like that no, kind of stuff is super exciting. That's amazing. Very cool. And, uh, a question just came in with decaf coffee. Sometimes people say that there's a, it's a toxic process, not healthy to drink decaf due to the way that it's um, prepared. Is that true? Or, you know, how do you guys do it to make sure that it's safe and healthy? So the, the two ways we normally do it, the one is a water process. So it's very literally water. There's no like chemicals or anything like that. And then there's another one that's a uh, sugar process. So it's uh, this natural sweetness that happens to it. 
So there, there's nothing, uh, we'll never use chemicals or any toxins or anything that's remotely bad, you know? We're always going for like organic, just good and uh, ethically sourced stuff. Amazing, and I guess that leads into a question that Holger has from uh, from Germany, um, you know, and perhaps we get your products over there soon enough with some exciting uh, announcements that we're perhaps working on. But uh, before that, he wants to know, how do you uh, source your beans? Sure, uh, so there's a few different uh, companies that we go through. Uh, and as far as uh, the regions we get them from, so currently we have Brazil, Nicaragua, Honduras, uh, and what is our other one? Uh, Colombia. So we, we have them from all over from awesome farmers. And for example, the Honduras roast, I'm actually sipping like the very first cup of it right now in my wonderful rootless mug. Um, <laughs> I can plug myself when it's about me. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, we have, it's all, uh, women farmers working there and it's essentially like we have this really cool independent place, all organic coffee. And we're, we're able to make partnerships like that, which is the beautiful thing about coffee, you know, like we would always rather have high end ethically sourced stuff rather than save a dollar doing it in a negative way. You know, that doesn't benefit us. And the same people will spend more money if they know it's coming from a good place. So we make sure it's from all over the world, but from really good sources. Yeah, thanks, Jonathan. It was uh, amazing to hear the story behind the bag uh, that you guys are creating and uh, really look forward to carrying your products, getting the feedback. I'm a coffee lover, obviously, no secret there. And I can't wait to be sipping on, uh, you know, on the different brands and products that you bring out. So uh, thank you for joining today. It was really informative. Hopefully uh, our shareholders and investors uh, truly understand what this partnership means. So, you know, thank you for taking time out of your Saturday morning to be with us on a holiday weekend, especially. So make sure to enjoy the rest of it. And, um, you know, thanks again for, for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Great. Cheers. So, um, yeah, so that was, uh, you know, our coffee uh, partnership um, that we'll be working on on our website. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to offer some type of subscription model and work with Jonathan into the new year on something like that. And I've been having a lot of shareholders and investors uh, write in and say, Sean, you know, share price, et cetera. I, I'm, I cannot comment on share price or the value of other companies out there. All I know is our team works literally around the clock and nobody that I know in North America, or there's really just a couple other individuals have the e-commerce experience that I have. I don't just speak from an advisory role. I actually have rolled out five specialty e-com platforms that have been extremely successful. And I could tell you right now, I've never been as passionate about anything that I've ever done online or as far as work goes than Plantex. Changing people's lives, introducing a healthier way of living and everything we're doing. I know that our company is gonna be the number one choice for plant-based uh, lovers in the future. We are forming an unbelievable community. I could already see the different products that are being ordered that even though I've been plant-based now for a couple of years and it's been a journey for the last 10 years, I've never even heard of these products that are being ordered. And I'm normally right on the front line. And we have somebody working in the background. His name is uh, Bill, unbelievable merchandiser, comes from the biggest companies in the world. He was CEO of an incredible company as well in the US. And uh, he came on to join us about a month ago. And over the next 60 days, the different selection, the different products you're going to see are going to be incredible. Our goal by the end of the next, by the end of next year is to have well over a hundred thousand products throughout our platform with the goal to hopefully get to over 300,000. So again, for everybody who believes in us, thank you very much everybody for joining us here on, on a Saturday views, just keep going up on the show. And again, I, I, I truthfully, you know, thank you uh, for joining us each week and keep spreading the word. Till next week, stay curious, stay planted, stay healthy. Cheers.
So that's it for this episode of the Plantex Podcast. Please check out www.plantex.com, the one-stop shop for everything plant-based and the digital face of the plant-based community. We have meal delivery, groceries, plant-based supplements and vitamins, and great ways to connect with like-minded individuals about the lifestyle we share. Stay healthy, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.